Hey everybody, it's Diana. So in my previous video, I showed you guys how to modify the Lawn Fawn Scout box card base. So if you haven't seen that yet, click the thing that's going to appear in the top corner and check that out first. So I cut a piece of white and blue cardstock down to 2 and 7 eighths by 3 and 3 quarters. And this is going to serve as the part where people can write on and my background for the pop-up card. And I'm going to be adhering them to my card base with my Zig Glue Stick. I had die cut out a Lawn Fawn Stitch Mountain and I'm adhering some tabs to the base then gluing it to my box card on my fourth slot. I die cut two stitched hillsides and grab my slide on over dies and cut the long straight line into one of my hillsides. I added taps to my hillsides and taped one onto the second slot and adhered the one with the sliding channel onto the first slot. I'm just going to set this aside while I do my coloring. I uh, stamped out a bunch of the images from Lawn Fawn's Bicycle Built For You stamp set. I'm just doing some simple Copic coloring. The colors are listed in the bottom left corner. I was also just wondering, do you guys actually like it when I include my coloring in the videos? Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want me to keep including this in my process videos.
I'm going to assemble my stamped images. I had fussy cut out the tie and I'm just going over the edges with a black outliner and I adhere it to the boy with my Zig 2A glue pen. I also stick the hat on him too and I cut a slit up his leg so he can sit better on the bike. I also cut a slip between the girl's arms so it makes it look like she's hugging the boy. I also glued the flowers on the basket, veil on the girl's head, and the cans to the end of the bike. I wanted to add a bit of shimmer so I'm using a Spectrum Noir Clear Overlay brush pen on the flowers and the veil. Okay, so now to prep my slider. I'm taking a birthday candle and I'm rubbing the wax along the edges of my sliding channel and I position my stamped images in place and put a double layer of foam adhesive on a penny and I hear into place and then just pray that it'll work. <laughs> I wanted to build more of a scene so I'm cutting some clouds using lawn fonts into the wood dies and I'm adhering two of them onto my card base with acetate and gluing one to the backdrop of my card. So now I'm taking all my small flowers and I'm adhering them onto strips of acetate and into my card base to make it look like the flowers are being blown out as they are biking across the card. Um, I don't show myself gluing all the flowers into my card but I adhere the flowers on the very front of the box card and on the first and second slot. So what's important about this is to make sure that you don't adhere anything onto the first slot that will obstruct your images from sliding. I die cut out the second smallest oval from MFT Stitch Scalp Oval Stacks Dynamics and I'm heat embossing the scent fit wishing you a beautiful wedding in Marine Tinsel Embossing Powder by Recollections. Then I was trying to figure out what to do for my side panels and I really wanted to keep them simple because the inside is so elaborate. I decided to take some blue cardstock and do some watermark stamping with Versamark. I'm repeatedly stamping the veil, the hat, flower and solid heart images to create a subtle pattern. I'm adhering all my panels into place and popping up the scalped oval with 3M foam tape and placing it on my front panel. To finish up the inside of my card, I'm just brushing the rest of my flowers with my Spectrum Noir Clear Overlay Brush Pen. To keep the continuity of the card for the outside, I decided to do the same thing as the inside panels. I glued those panels into place and then finished up my card by stamping and coloring an extra veil and hat and gluing it to the back of the card where people can write, just as a little decorative element.
So here's my card in action. Like honestly, I wasn't sure if it would work, but it does, so I'm pretty happy with it. This was my entry for Lawn Fawn's new challenge blog. I'll have that linked below if you guys want to check it out, as well as all the supplies I used for this project. If you guys like this project, please thumbs up and subscribe to let me know you want to see more like it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.